All right, what's up, everybody? We're here today, episode number 72, uh, with Mr. Randy Bennett, who's Hi. All, always here. Special guest, Cortland Williams, one of the greatest uh, good. young bucks in the uh, entire roster. So today, episode 72, we're going to talk about beach music. Now, if you're not from North or South Carolina, uh, you may not be familiar, but Randy's going to tell you about the history. Go. It's not the Beach Boys and Jan and Dean. No, it's not that. Except no. Tuesday. It's a regional genre which developed from a variety of rock and R&B and pop music all mixed together in the 50s and 60s. Um, most closely associated with a style of dance, a style of swing dancing called uh, shagging. Shagging. And um, it's the official, the official state dance of North Carolina and South Carolina. I'm going to tell them about that CD set. Yeah, so if you just need one collection to get almost all of it, there's a four CD set called the Beach Music Anthology. That's the one to get. It's a yellow box. So, a lot of, um, I just want to interject here, a lot of the professional shaggers now dance to things other than these songs that we're going to talk about, which most of them are, I think they're all actually old. Uh, but a lot of professional shaggers and the, the competitive people now are dancing to things like, you know, um, Santana, Smooth, mm -hmm. uh, there's a song called The Walk by um, Mayor Haw Hawthorne. Um, Anyway, things like that. But the ones we're going to talk about today are, are the original <coughs> classic, the classic music songs. So I'll start it off with uh, the one of uh, the most popular. It's called Carolina Girls by General Johnson and Chairman of the Board. Uh, this was actually recorded uh, in 1980, and it was inspired by the book Carolina Girls. Court it inspired. It inspired the book. Oh, it it's a good jam. Oh, it inspired the book. Tell us about the next one. So. Whenever I'm DJing, somebody comes up and they're like, you know, I want, I want some, some beach music, I want some yeah. shag music. Mm -hmm. First thing that comes to my mind, mm -hmm. I love beach music by the Embers. Yes. Like, you know, from 1990, it's the Beach Beat Shagging Collection, if you will. Yes. Right. yes. It's amazing. I mean, you know, it's, it screams, I want to shag, play it, and it just it shuts it down every time. So, right. it's on the 1992 CD, I Love Beach Music as well. Check it out. If you haven't heard it, Embers. you're missing out. But if you're from North Carolina, I know you've heard it. So. That's yep. true. Uh, be Young, Be Foolish, Be Happy by the Tams. They're from Atlanta. And that was released as a single in 1968 by the Tams. Uh, the next one is Clifford Curry, She Shot a Hole in My Soul. Uh, it was a single in 1967 with the number 45 on the charts. And it was covered by a group called the Box Tops in 68. Then you have the great Band of Oz. Mm -hmm. So it's the Ocean Boulevard, the single in 1982 on Keep Keeping It, Keep Keeping It Up. Keep keeping it up. <laughs> can't even like my mind just can't even take it. It's such a great it's record. Such so. a great. This this Same. album was on and it's, it's out in 1985 too. So That's check right. that out as well. Uh, the Drifters, you're more than a number in my little red book. Um, they were the original backup singers for Clyde McFadder, and there's 60 different vocalists that have actually been in the history of the Drifters. Um, and wow. this was actually a B-side of their single in 1976. Joey, uh, another song that. Um, Kind of crossed over, I think it was in that, I can't remember what the movie was, but it's been in uh, several movies. Build Me Up Buttercup by The Foundations. The one where uh, the girl had the hair. You know that? Yeah. Um, uh, <laughs> something About Mary? Yes. I think it was, uh, uh, it was a single in 1968, went to number three in uh, the U.S. charts. Yep. So then we have Clarence Carter with Strokin. This was a single in 1985. Not about you guys, but it was too inappropriate for the radio, so yes. it was put on jukeboxes where it became popular, but, uh, you know, I, I think it's a good jam for the, for the beach. It is, crowd. but you definitely have to uh, know your crowd before you play it live. Yes. Uh, go ahead, Randy, next one. 60 Minute Man by the Dominoes that came out in 1951. Um, written by singer Billy Ward, uh, there was lead vocals were done by Clyde McFadder, who went on to sing for the Drifters, and it was one of the first R&B hits to cross over to become a pop hit on the pop charts. Mm. And the last one we're going to talk about today is a song called Myrtle Beach Days by the Fantastic Shakers. It's on a uh, compilation called Grand Strand Gold. Grand Stand Grand. Gold. I think it's Grand Strand. Nope. Betcha. Grandstand at a beach. Grandstand. No, Grand Strand is what they call that, like mm -hmm. the area. Remix. You can do whatever you want to. You know what I'm saying? Look it up. <laughs> uh, compilation uh, that came out in 1994. So, 
There are uh, several songs if you want to start your beach music collection. That's a good start, and I uh, hope you enjoyed episode 72. Go ahead, Randy. Hey, Joe. Yes. You know why I fish? Why didn't you say, hey, Cortland? I'm hey, right here, dude. Hey, Cortland. I'm right here. Say, you know say why, Joe and Cortland. You know why I fish like to swim in sea wa- in salt water? Jesus. <laughs> why? Because Pepper makes them sneeze. <laughs> Pepper makes them sneeze. Just give it to him. Just give it to him. Awful. Thanks for watching. Goodbye.